Hi team, welcome to part two of David and Goliath. I hope you enjoy. God bless. David and Goliath. David's chance to prove himself came, but not as he expected. One of King Saul's servants fetched David. The worry king needed some music to soothe him. David's father agreed to let his son play for the king if the boy would tend the sheep during the day. Ah. So there's the king here, and he's sleeping, he's having a good old time. And you got David here, and he's playing his harp, and he's got it seated here right on his heart. Good job, David. Okay. David played for the king every night. The king grew fond of David. One day, David was sent to the battlefield with, with food for his brothers, who were soldiers. The soldiers were running towards the enemy. Suddenly, the soldiers stopped. Hmm, okay. Soldiers stopped. Goliath, the Philistine's leader, had stepped into the battlefield. He was almost 10 feet Tall, holy baduli, taller than our garden over there. So that's about twice as tall. Imagine that. Wow, he'd be as tall as that light, the street light. His bronze armor alone looked as if it weighed more than David. And the spear Goliath carried looked mighty enough to stab the sky. It was that big it could reach the sky. Imagine that team. Wow. He was that tall. So he was a giant. Choose one man to fight against me, roared Goliath. If he kills me, the Philistines will be your slaves. But if I kill him, you shall become our slaves. I oh, know. Check it out, team. There's David. What's this? And, uh, he's surrounded. It looks like they're congratulating him. See how they're rubbing his head? Let's check it out. The Israelites ran away. David realized this was his chance to prove himself. He went to the king and said, I will fight Goliath. You are only a boy, Saul said kindly but firmly. David described his battle with the lion. I will defeat Goliath just as I conquered the lion, David said. God will protect me. Ooh, remember when David went against the lion? Do you remember the lion? Yes. And he beat the lion. He chased the lion away and saved his lamb. ready to go against Goliath. Don't forget Goliath is 10 feet tall as that light post. Holy bedoli. 
Okay. Go and may God protect. Uh, go and may God be with you, Saul declared. The king ordered his servant to bring a suit of armor, and David trod it on. It was so heavy that David could hardly move. Saul gave David a large sword. David grasped the handle but could barely lift the heavy blade. So David, he's very strong, but he's strong in a different way. He's very strong, he's very smart. So maybe he can't lift the heavy stuff, but maybe he can do smart things. Let's check it out. He was ready to defend Israel, but not with the armor and not with the sword. As respectfully as he could, David told the king, I cannot walk in this armor. I am not used to it. So he's not used to the armor, David. So I think David's very brave. Wow, there's Goliath. Wow. With the king's permission, he took off the armor. Then David went to a stream and gathered five stones. He pulled out his sling. He was ready to face Goliath. Facing with his sling, remember his sling. 